We are going to start with this great song with the melody. And for every song that you are learning, you must start with the melody. That is what identifies the song first and foremost. So, um, you know, as a jazz musician, as any improvisational musician, how you interpret the melody and how you put your own uh, your own spin on it is really, really important because there are so many versions of these great standards. Uh, so in order for you to stand out and to, to make it really, uh, you know, come alive in a fresh way, it's really important to examine a melody and uh, be able to add something new to it. And in order to do that, the first thing you have to do is listen to recordings of it and uh, learn the melody more or less as it is. And so in this case, it's... So that is really the jumping off point. You want to learn the basic melody of the piece. And then when we come to playing something solo, we've got to harmonize it because as you just heard, that was fine. There was nothing wrong with it. And that's your jumping off point. You always want to learn the melody first. Uh, and by the way, it's a good idea to learn it in another uh, register of the neck, a higher octave. You know, so it, every, everywhere that you can play a melody and have that as reference uh, is super important because when, you, when we move on later and I talk about different solo ideas you can use on the song, it's super important to just be aware, be mindful of the fact that you've got the melody everywhere on the neck. Uh, and you could always return to that. In fact, that's a really cool thing to do, um, you know, when you're playing to reference the melody because when you reference the melody, you are uh, showing that you really know uh, what the song is about. And it also gives the listener and your fellow musicians a chance to go, ah, yeah, that's, that's cool. That's where it's, that's where it's at. And, uh, and it, it gives the piece a certain uh, cohesion and continuity. So super important to um, be able to play the melody anywhere. Okay. So now, when we're going to play something solo guitar, we can't do the same kind of thing that we do when we're playing, when we've got other uh, instruments, bass player, piano, and other guitar backing us up. In this case, we are the entire rhythm section. And so one of the things that I do uh, when I'm playing solo is to figure out how can I flesh out the sound. And a lot of it is a process of trial and elimination in my, own, uh, in my own music studio at home. So here's what I came up with. I'm gonna play it really slowly and then I'll talk to you about it. basically what I'm playing over the A section. And let me break it down a little bit more for you. Basically what I'm doing is I'm, um, in order to harmonize the melody of the tune, I'm making use of the open G string right there. And that's a really cool thing, you know, for uh, solo guitar, it's very important to exploit all of the guitaristic elements that you can that will flesh out the sound. So. You know, in this case, uh, using open strings, I like to use open strings, harmonics, bass lines, because all of this will make it sound like there's more than one instrument playing, uh, even though it's just you, you know, and you're lonesome making it all happen. So let's take a look at this. I'm going to play it really slowly and watch my right hand, because uh, what I'm doing is I'm following the harmony, which we'll get into in the next segment. But let me just show you how I do this. So... And here I'm just using double stops. So what that means is two notes together. And there I'm doing a little uh, pull off. 
And then I'm putting, this is a technique that I use a lot in solo guitar playing, which is that I'll play part of the melody and then hit the chord to reinforce the harmony, okay? So that's all that's happening there. Um, now, it's funny that I had mentioned earlier, not funny, but uh, interesting that I mentioned it because now I'm going to do it. So on the last A section, this song is um, A-A-B-A, uh, two eight-bar A sections, uh, eight-bar bridge or eight-bar B section, and then a last A, which is basically the same as the first A, the first two A's. Uh, but in this case, I jump up to the higher register, playing it in another octave. So let's listen to this. Or sometimes I do. So I could either do a double stop or do the whole chord. So there, so I'm using the, the string, the open string, I'm actually hitting the harmonic. And that's pretty tense, but in passing, it's kind of cool, it has a little bit of tude without being, um, you know, completely uh, freakazoid. So it's a variation, a different octave. Okay, so, uh, and then I'm doing the same thing. Uh, um. And then I'm putting the chords in after the melody surrounding it, okay? You play the melody and then hit the chords at that uh, second part of the um, A section. Here's the melody to the B section of the song. And let's listen to what that would sound like if I put the correct harmony underneath it, the chords. So I put the chord, play the melody, and then put the chord in afterwards. So the second part there, when I go to the G minor, it's still... So the melody changes there instead of going up. Uh, the second part of the B section, I've got... Uh, I'm just moving up from the F to an A flat and then hit the D harmonic, these open strings. Uh, why? Because it flushes out the sound. It's cool and it's very important to be cool in your playing. Uh, no, it's just, it's just a nice uh, way to flush out the harmony. There's, there's a D chord there and so that this, this harmonic could, could reference many different chords. This, when I play all of the notes there, but uh, essentially it's, it's taking the place of a D chord there. So um, that's it, that's the whole melody. Let me play the whole thing for you guys really slowly so you can hear how I, I put it all together. Okay, here we go from the top. One, a two. There we go. So work with the tab and work with me. Watch my right hand and what I'm doing and matching it up with the left hand and take it really slowly. Uh, and I think this is quite doable for all of you. So uh, have fun with it. I really had fun putting the arrangement together. I hope you enjoy it.